Hey everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, I'll show you the simple task of customizing a paintbrush that you can use in the standalone paint tool or the paint tool in batch. If you would like to follow along, just create an empty project and we can go from there. Now when it comes to creating a custom brush, the only place you can create them is in the paint tool located in the tools view. So in the composite menu, select the paint button and set the input to none. Brushes are pixel based, so the best starting point is a clean background and the white pixels will become the brush. Now click on any reel to enter into the paint tool. To the right of the player controls, you have the bank of standard brushes that you can scroll to reveal all the current brushes. To access the brush editing menu, just double click on any brush. So you can edit any of the existing brushes. However, to make a new brush, just click new. This creates a copy of the current brush at the end of the bank and you can work on this without disrupting any of the other brushes. Now there are a couple of ways to create a custom brush. The graph next to the brush represents a gradient curve. As soon as you click and drag any points, it creates a gradient based brush shape. You can alter the curve to alter the brush gradient or you can select any tools from the pull down menu and manipulate the points on the curve. This will allow you to create circular brushes with varying gradient transparencies. To update your brush in the brush presets, just click update. Now if you wanted to create a much more freeform type of brush, you can actually paint it and grab the result. For example, scroll the brushes to the right and choose the standard circular brush. On the result view, just paint a random stroke. Now let's say you want to save this as a brush. Go back to the brush menu and click grab. With grab enabled, go back to the result view and draw a box around the brush stroke. The paint tool captures the pixels and fits them into the square brush shape. This is the reason why the strokes might get squeezed by a small amount. Just so that you know, the gradient curve is deactivated. If you move any point on the curve, the brush shape will switch back to the gradient mode. So avoid touching this if you're freeforming your own brush. Now what is very useful to know is that you can also paint directly in the brush shape. You could design a brush from scratch or touch up a pattern that you grabbed earlier. You would then work between black and white to refine your brush. If you've used any colors, they will be converted to black and white when you update the brush. Once again, select your brush entry in the presets and update the current brush. Finally, as a tip, you can blur the brush shape if it's too harsh. Just keep clicking the blur button for incremental amounts. You can also invert the colors of the brush to invert the shape. So it's really easy to create a custom brush. This is now accessible in the current paint session. Now if you want to keep the brush, you need to save it as a brush preset. Ensure your brush is selected and in the brush menu, click the save button. The browser appears and it goes to your current user profile containing the standard brush presets. Let's save the brush preset here for now. Give it a name and click save. So that's a custom brush saved as a brush preset and you can always load it in this paint tool when you need it. What's great to know is that the custom brush can also be loaded into the paint tool in batch. So exit this paint tool and switch to the batch view. 
go to the batch node bin and drag out a paint node. Double click on the paint node for its controls and look at the result view. Now the bank of brushes at the bottom of the paint tool contains the same default brushes as the other paint tool. Scrolling through them, they will all be the same. To add your custom brush to the rest of the presets, switch to the Node Preferences menu. Here you can load the brush preset. You get the same browser and you can select your custom brush. This will now be available to paint in batch. Very importantly, the custom brush becomes part of the batch setup. This means when you reload this batch setup on this machine or another, the custom brush will be restored and you can carry on using it as normal. So the main point is that both paint tools in Flame share the same custom brushes. Now before I conclude this video, the safe location of your custom brush preset is quite important. Basically, if you save the custom brush preset in the default directory for your user, it will automatically be available in any project when you use the current user. This will start happening after restarting the Flame application. However, if you save your custom brush in another folder or directory of your choice, you will need to reload the custom brush for each session you intend to use it. So one option is automatic loading after a restart and the other is manual. It's a good choice to have. That wraps up custom brushes. But please be sure to check out the other workflows, features and enhancements to the Flame 2018.2 update. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos.